Very close attention is being paid to Capitol Hill, where the Senate has started debate on immigration reform. Any proposal will be considered, and whatever is able to get the 60 votes necessary to pass will move forward. CBS 4's Weijia Jiang has more now from Capitol Hill. The Senate is opening the floor to allow anyone to make a proposal on immigration reform. And then we'll see whether or not they have the votes to support it. So this is an open, amendable process, which, as you all know, many of you have been around here a lot longer than me, doesn't happen that often. Republicans are pushing a bill from Senators Chuck Grassley, John Cornyn, and Tom Cotton. The Secure and Succeed Act would give a path to citizenship for nearly two million undocumented immigrants, fund border security, and the border wall with $25 billion, limit family based immigration, and eliminate the diversity visa lottery. It's the one bill that can become law. We shouldn't be focused on passing a bill out of the Senate. We should be focused on passing a law, something that can get the majority vote of the House and that President Trump is willing to sign. And that will be an uphill battle, finding a bill that Democrats will support, but can also win over President Trump and the more conservative House members. Well, this is a very difficult issue. We're all aware of that, but we can get something done. We're on the verge. President Trump tweeted this morning, Republicans want to make a deal and Democrats say they want to make a deal. Wouldn't it be great if we could finally, after so many years, solve the DACA puzzle? They've been talking about it for many years, and if we could do it, it would be a great achievement. The DACA program, which shields undocumented immigrants brought to the U.S. as children from deportation, expires March 5th. Weijia Jang, CBS News, Capitol Hill. And we have this late word just into the newsroom. A second federal court, this one in New York State, has granted a nationwide injunction preventing the Trump administration from ending DACA, at least while lawsuits proceed through the courts. And that means that the March 5th deadline might not be a deadline after all. Of course, this is a fluid story. We'll have more on it as it becomes available.